aptly named after the myriad of birds that hover over the gentle waters of the craters, the Balinsasayao Twin Lakes Natural Park offers a mesmerizing view that deserves more than just a memorable snapshot. Beyond the usual facts and stats that forest guides share, it is also interesting to listen to the stories exchanged by people along the trail. Up close and personal with wild vanishing species, experts believe that this park is a fragile sanctuary that deserves nothing less than a sustainable program for protection and conservation. The province of Negros Oriental, west of Dumaguete, is home to the Balin Sasayao Twin Lakes Natural Park. Generally mountainous in topography, its most prominent features are the twin crater lakes separated by the narrow mountain ridge. The twin lakes are Lake Balin Sasayao and Lake Danao. Lake Balin Sasayao, yung una, yung lawak po niya ay 76 hectares po, ay Ang deep po naman niya ay 97 meters po. Yung Lake Danao naman po, so ang lawak naman po niya ay 30.5 hectares. Tapos ang deep naman po niya ay 55 to 58 meters po. The Twin Lakes and their surrounding forests serve as a critical watershed for the province as it contains the headwaters of five major rivers that sustain agriculture in lowland communities. Diyan kumukuha ng inumin tubig yung uh, tatlong municipality po natin, San Jose, Valencia, pati na yung uh, Sibulan, uh, at saka yung Dumaguete din. Kasi yung water table, pag hindi intact yung forest dito, kapalagay ko, sigurong wala silang makukuha na fresh water doon sa baba. Kasi nata, nasa mataas tayo. At the turn of the millennium, in year 2000, the Balinsasayao Twin Lakes Natural Park was proclaimed a protected area by former President Joseph Estrada through Proclamation No. 414. With the passage of the Expanded National Integrated Protected Area System or INIPAS Act of 2018, on June 22, 2018, Balinsasayao Twin Lakes Natural Park is one of the 94 protected areas legislated by Congress. Efforts to conserve the wildlife in the park have inspired stakeholders to identify and protect the threatened species, including the 27 species of mammals, 49 species of herpetofauna, and 114 species of birds in the area. There are important species of fauna and flora that can be found in, the, in our area. So for fauna, we have the large flying fox, we have the negros striped babbler, we have the Visayan wrinkled belled hornbill. We have the Negros bleeding heart pigeon. We have the hazel frogs and 27 mammals. The park is an important bird area where threatened species of birds have been sighted. Identified terrestrial flora within the park reveal 237 plant species and some 124 fern species, many of which are globally threatened. Power flora, we have the red lawaan, white lawaan, tangili, kiho, almasiga, and many more. Then, aside from that, we are also adjacent to the Cuernos de Negros, which is a key biodiversity area. One of the tourism, ecotourism products here is bird watching. Uh, boating because of the lake, 
kayaking. We have also variety of fern species. That is why we have Fernery Garden near the restaurant. We can offer also outdoor photography because of the beauty of the park. Kami po yung katuwang ng DNR po na papatupad po namin yung mga uh, policies po, yung mga uh, pagprotektar po sa kalikasan po natin. Uh, before po ay kami yung mga illegalista po dito, kami yung mga guides po ng mga hunters, at saka yung hanap buhay namin dati ay putol kami ng mga puno, ibinta namin sa talyer para po ay makakuha kami ng mga Uh, pangkabuhayan po, pagkain po sa, sa loob ng pamilya po. Yun yung unang trabaho namin dito. Nung nahuli kami, so pinadala kami doon sa Dumbagete. So, yun pala, akala namin kukulong na kami, ay trainings pala yun. Uh, una namin uh, na, nakaatin kami ng trainings, uh, nagbigay kasi yung foundation for the Philippine environment ng funding doon na mag Uh, kandak po ng training sa uh, tungkol dito po sa environment po natin. The, the attitude of Rico and the rest of his uh, members were gradually transformed no? from being our enemy in the forest by, because they are distracting our forest, they are the one, they are the one responsible for uh, cultivation, kaingin, illegal hunting. They, they gradually transformed into our partner no? in development and protection of the natural resources that we have here in the area. We provide them training, no? training, of course, support in terms of development and maintenance of ecotourism facilities. Like, like what we have here now, we have the viewing deck, we have the lookout tower, we have the parking area, we have the information center, we have the the administration building. So we have also the warp, no? The warp is being used by by bar of PO as the parking area of their double body boat and kayak. And of course, one of the challenges is how to retain our trained and experienced personnel if they will not they will not be given a, a permanent position, no? We keep on hiring new personnel because Our train staff, of course, they are looking for a green pasture no, for the future. So, of course, if they will be accommodated in other offices, of course, they will transfer to other offices. So, that's the challenge that, the, that we should address. Because mahirap mag-train, palaging mag-train ng mga staff in order to manage effectively the park. Over the years, management of the park's land resources has been focused on the areas classified under the multiple use zone. Here is where traditional settlements and use of the land such as agroforestry, livelihood, recreation and most ecotourism activities are conducted. Based on the recent assessment conducted in our park, uh, number one threat is the, the illegal occupation inside the park. Uh, some are uh, cultivating the park for abaca plantation. Nung sinabi kasi na naging sakop na ito ng Naipas Act, uh, yung problema namin dito kasi yung sinabing Park Barma, yung uh, Protected Area Management Agreement ng uh, park, ay hindi pa naibigay hanggang ngayon. Um, ang malaking tulong sa amin po ay nung may agreement kami sa provincial government dati na yung boating activity tsaka yung restaurant po ay binigay sa amin. Yun yung mga malaking tulong na naibigay sa asosasyon po namin. Tsaka yung mga member din po namin, nagkakaroon na po sila ng SSS. Ang yung kahilingan po namin ay yung tenured migrant agreement po na maibigay na po sa amin. Unexpectedly, only the consistent and collaborative relationships between and among stakeholders can help confront these challenges. Una, yung mga existing laws na bawal yung pagputol ng kahoy, agangat maaari, zero yung 
ano eh, cutting of trees in Negros Oriental. Another treat is the landslide. This is a landslide prone area because of the elevation. And also poaching of wildlife. Laki ang tulong natin kasi una, to protect the, the people uh, who are in the field. Eh, kailangan ng LGO yan eh. Para mag, maglakas loob sila na talagang in-increase in ko yung bantay lasang. Number of bantay lasang sa akin is na mas lalong dumami. Number two, uh, support livelihood program of the people living in that area. Number three, support infrastructure projects. Dandahan na rin nating linapitan ang local government units at dandahan natin silang na-convince. When in fact, the local government of Sibulan has recently allocated 50,000. Initial lang yan para magamit natin for the management of the park. Isa sa mga activity namin yun sa law enforcement plan is dapat mayroon tayong drone. Kasi nakita namin mas effective yung monitoring pag gumamit tayo ng drone kaysa mag-hire tayo ng maraming bantay lasang. So ang Ilgio Valencia nakabili na ng drone at sabi ni Mayor, pwede namin hiramin yung drone for the monitoring of all activities inside the park. When you come to Lake Balinsa Sayaw, talagang maiingan nyo kayo magpapabalik ng pabalik kasi it's really a nice place. It's really a good place. Talagang untouched. You know, talagang maganda yung pagka-manage na ng pambi ng local government and cooperation with the people. Talagang na-protected talaga yung areas. Uh, we can only do so much. We need the support of everybody. Kung isang tao magtanim lang ng isang kahoy, for a hundred million people in the, the Philippines, we will be having 100 million trees for the next for next year. That's very, very, very positive in so far as uh, recovery of our ecosystem is concerned. With more birds hovering over the Twin Lakes, more visitors learning about environmental protection of the park every single day, there is great hope for conservation to be sustained in this nature's jewel in Negros Oriental. Truly, in the hands of intelligent stakeholders lies the preserved and protected beauty of the Balinsasayao Twin Lakes Natural Park.